Hello everyone, my name is Shweta Goyal. In this video, we are going to see how to register a TrueSite infrastructure management server to a TrueSite presentation server. As a part of the TrueSite operations management how-to video series, the BMC TrueSite operations management console provides the interface for monitoring and diagnosing failures and for configuring the presentation server that consumes information from the data providers. These data providers must be registered with TrueSight presentation server to receive data from its component types. After you install the TrueSight infrastructure management server, you can log in to TSPS server and register your TSIM as shown in this model. We can see the steps to register the TSIM server here. Let's see the same steps by adding the TSIM server and registering it. Let's log in to the TSPS server. Go to Administrations, click on Components. Then to add a TSIM server, click on this icon and click on Add Component. You will see three options here as data providers. First is events and performance data from BMC TrueSight infrastructure management. Second is active applications and performance data from BMC TrueSight app visibility manager. And the third is synthetic transactions and performance data generated by BMC synthetic transaction execution adapter. We will select BMC TrueSight Infrastructure Management Server in this model. Enter a valid hostname and IP address of your TSIM server. Select the protocol and depending on the protocol, select the port number. Here, you need to select the correct tenant. We have a drop-down list. And this list includes each tenant defined in the BMC Atrium single sign-on system. Enter a value between 1 to 10 minutes for the initialization timeout period. This is the time period that the presentation server tries to initialize a connection to the component. And then click Save. And this should complete the registration process once we get the successful message for registration. After a component is added to the console, it is listed on the component screen. For each data provider, the components list includes the information summarized here. This would be the component that is your TSIM server name. Here you can see the status. We can have different status depending on the result of the registration process. This is the list of the result of the status messages depending on the result of your registration process. In case if you want to edit your TSIM server, you can click on this icon, click on edit. You can change only the protocol, port and the timeout period. You will not be able to change the hostname or the tenant. In case if you want to change hostname and tenant, you can delete the component and then add the component again. To delete the component, you can click here and click on delete. In case if you want to add a new component, you can again click on this icon and continue the process as shown in this model. You are now ready to start monitoring and configuring your TSIM server. That's how quick and easy it is to register your components with TSM server.